with the exception of, of uh, uh, a little bit of a loss of poise there uh, when, when they were pressing, and um, uh, or worse, it was a loss of poise and maybe a loss of mind. But um, I, I thought we played really well. I thought we followed the game plan. I thought the last 12 minutes of the first half uh, was probably as about as good a defense as we played. Um, Against a against a really talented offensive team, and and um, uh, our, our approach against the zone was much better today. Um, and so, you know, it it, it felt good. Um, we had a number of guys play well. Mike played well. Cam played well. Jamel played well. Sheldon played well. We had a bunch of guys play well, and and um, um, so here we are. And and uh, I'm proud of them. Um, I, we're, we're, we're playing better. It seems, feels like we're playing better to me. It's felt like that the last couple of weeks. And, um, um, and it was nice, again, to have it translate, playing better, translate into a win. How did girls approach to the zone different this time around compared to how compared to we did last month? Um, honestly, we, <laughs> we, we tried to do some things that, that had been successful against Syracuse in the past here. Uh, things that they had done here against Syracuse and, and um, really just kind of determined that we didn't have the same personnel. Um, uh, and, and so we modified maybe what we would call our default offense. So if we run a play or if we come up in transition, what we would default into at the end of that. And um, pretty simple, pretty basic, but it kept everybody moving. It keeps it kept the, the the eyes of the zone shifting to where they couldn't just lock in and and um, we were too stationary in the game that we played up there. Uh, we we had more movement uh, and and a better plan, better attack this time, and um, so just felt much better. How big was it that Mike was getting to the basket more and being more involved down low? He said that you guys kind of had to talk with him before the North Carolina game to kind of be that guy. And yeah, I, I really, and I, I don't know, you never know what makes what makes a difference, but um, um, I, had a, I had a discussion with Mike yesterday about his attitude about playing against zones. Um, not his attitude in general, just his attitude about playing against zones. And um, um, I thought he needed to adjust his attitude, and and, um, and he agreed with me. He, he agreed that my assessments were, were correct. And, and I thought his approach versus the zone today was by far better than it's, it's ever been all season long when we, when we have faced zone defenses. <clears throat> And um, uh, again, we kept him on the move, and he was able to get in and attack, get in and make plays for people, and and um, uh, so it, it was. Um, it, he was he was much better today versus their zone. What did you see? That was wrong about his attitude towards the zone. Um, he just doesn't like him. Was he settling too much for being outside on the zone today? Not that, not that no, no, no. He just doesn't like playing against zones. He or he didn't. Um, Twenty-one and nine ought to make him feel better. And six, um, but um, he, you know, he just it wasn't it wasn't a case of settling. It was it was a case of, um, you know, when people play man, I've got sixty-nine plays that I can run for him and get him the ball, and he knows where he's going to get it, and he likes that. Matter of fact, we we might have eighty-nine, but. So he likes, oh, coach is probably getting ready to call a play for me. <laughs> so, or he likes he's got one guy guarding him, and he's usually good enough to beat one guy. In zone, you have to, you have to figure it out. You know, you have to, you have to find your spots. You have, you have to create your openings. And, and um, my big thing at practice yesterday was find pleasure in finding opening in the, openings in the zone. Find pleasure in and figuring out how to attack it and beat it. Make, make that fun. Not just to him, for everybody, and um, and and I thought we had uh, a lot more fun and aggressiveness towards towards playing against it today. 
when you know, we talked with uh, when we talked with the guys a, l- a little bit earlier here, they had talked about how the North Carolina game, you know, and I guess the Duke can do it to a lesser extent too, really sort of, you know, things just start to pivot then, you know, coming off the Clemson loss, the Louisville loss. I mean, what from your bench point changed uh, going into that Carolina game and I guess in the immediate aftermath? You know, I, I would, I'd be a liar if I told you that I knew. Um, I feel like we're playing harder. I feel like we're competing harder. Um, you know, to look look up at halftime today and be up, what were we, up 17 or something on the boards? Something like that at halftime? Um, we're just, we're just competing harder. And, and um, um, so I, I don't, um, I would like to say that we're competing smarter, but when I watched some of those shots that we took at the end of their press today, I, I can't I can't go there quite yet. But I, I did I did I do think we're playing uh, playing harder. We're playing more together. Um, you know, you can't argue with 25 baskets or 25 assists on 26 baskets. I mean, there's some team play going on, and um, uh, but I thought we took good shots today. With, with again, with the exception of a, a small few. And um, I thought we got to good shots, and we had to we had to attack the zone well because obviously they're very good at playing it. Kevin, you, you said I think it was after the Clemson game. Really, your frustration frustration was that they had bought in. It didn't seem like they bought into anything except for maybe the freedom on offense. I and mean, you feel like the other parts of the game that they need to buy into that that, that has come along and that's been a part of. I, I think it's gotten better. Um, I, I think it's gotten better, and and. Um, but I, I don't want to. I don't want to be naive and just think that we we won, and so there, there's a little more buy-in. Um, um, for whatever reason, we're playing better, and and some of it to me feels like, I mean, we competed really hard at North Carolina. We competed really hard at Duke. We complete. We competed really hard the other night at Boston College. Um, I thought we competed, but I don't know that I would say we competed really hard against Clemson. And and um, uh, so, you know, for us. We always talk about great efforts, sort of like the price of admission. That's sort of the, the price of having a uniform. And, and um, um, that's just something that we feel like we should be able to expect as coaches is great effort. And, and now I think we're starting to get it a little bit more. You talked about this team and, and facing adversity, and <coughs> sometimes that's a struggle for them. In that regard, how big was it to, instead of going down early like you did at Syracuse, to come out tonight and get a good start and get Cam going and, and sort of uh, build on that positivity early on? Well, I, I thought it was critical because, again, you know, you can you can have the deja vu thing get in your head if you're if you're not careful, and and um, uh, but. We didn't get off to a great start because we we couldn't guard them at the beginning of the first eight minutes of the game. They had 17 points, and um, uh, but then then we really locked in defensively and started taking away their threes. I, I thought that was the big key to the game. Was they had one three in the first half, gave us a cushion. Um, then I thought our play at the start of the second half, even though it wasn't as good defensively, we were finding we were continuing to find things offensively, and and um, um, so. You know, again, I thought the the last 12 minutes of that first half, uh, that defense, I, I really liked. I really did. Coach, on a team led by four seniors, what does it mean for a younger guy like Cam Johnson to step up and have the outing he did today? Well, Cam needs to he, he needs to step forward when we play against teams at zone because he he can really shoot, and so. Um, uh, and he stepped up today. I mean, uh, when a guy gets 22 for you on, on, on nine shots, he's making them count. You know, that's a lot different than getting 22 on 19 shots. So um, Cam was very efficient today, was aggressive. Um, and, and I, again, I liked how the whole, whole I liked how all of them looked. I, I, even the guys that came in off the bench, I liked their look, I liked their aggressiveness. And, and we made some mistakes out of aggression. You know, we faced adversity, which, w- there in the second half when they started coming back a little bit, but we overcame the adversity with our aggressiveness. And, and that's what you have to do. You just, you have to fight for um, the position of being the most aggressive team in the game. You, you, you have to, that, that kind of becomes the game, is can you out-aggress them more than they can out-aggress you? And, and I thought today we did that.
Kevin, Roselle spoke before the win against Boston College that he thinks that this team can make a run, and then all the players sitting here think, say they think the team can win out. So is that what you think this team needs to do from here on, and what does it take to get in? Yeah, I, I'm not. Um, you'll, you'll find out I'm not very good at speculating. Um, don't, I don't care to waste time on it. Um, and um, I'll, I'll answer questions as honestly as I can. It'd be, love to, it'd be great to make a run. I'd love to. Um, but uh, the run for me consists of, of trying to get ready to, to play well against Virginia Tech on Tuesday. And, and um, um, you know, if we could win that game, then maybe, you know, we'll play on Saturday then. Can you talk about Sheldon Jeter? You, co you coached him as a freshman at Vandy. His growth from then until now, and then what you've seen him do this season where he's gone from being more of a role player to a guy who did what he did today, adding some offense and rebounding and defense. Well, Sheldon um, got a, an earful from me at halftime the other night at Boston College. And... and um, I don't know, maybe I waited too long because since then he's been really tremendous. He was tremendous today. He was tremendous on the boards. His defense was tremendous on Leiden early, you know, until he got in foul trouble. Um, we need – Sheldon has to be our energy guy. He has to be our, our offensive rebound. He's got to be a threat. When we, t when we take a shot, he's got to act like it's a pass to him every time if he doesn't shoot it. Um, so – you know, I don't. I don't believe in following your shot. You know, you, you hear people say it, you know, little levels. Follow your shot. Well, f now we're getting into coaching a little bit. To tell a guy to follow a shot that means you expect to miss. Okay, so <laughs> I don't want guys following their shot. I want Sheldon to think that every time somebody else shoots, they're passing it to him. And and I thought he was great today, um, and that's what we need from him from from here on out. Can you continue to get 30, at least 34 minutes from all from five guys? Can we continue that? Um, I don't know, you know, I, I don't know. Um, um, in certain games, we might be able to, um, in certain games, probably not. And, and, um, uh, I thought this was, you know, our, our bench was a little shorter than we, you know, we've been using Damon Wilson. We've been using justice, been using Roe. Um, today, you know, by the nature of the game, it's a little bit slower because they play zone. There's not, you know, it's, it's not as taxing on offense. And so I think that you're able to, to play guys a few more minutes, and, and um, so we shortened it up a little bit today, but um, uh, we'll see. I mean, you know, those three guys came in the other night at Boston College and all did nice things, and, and so um, we'll, we'll, we'll keep trying to utilize our bench in, in the best way we, we can.